The team building aspects of Honkai Star Rail are nothing special, but functional. However, I do feel like it is a bit of a wasted opportunity. The only thing you have to consider right now is the individual character strengths and their synergies. There is not much depth to it, obviously characters that scale well with break effect like Shuei will go well with Ruan Mei. But that is it, the character's element, path or faction does not matter. Even Genshin had a system which encourages players to build the teams with at least two characters of the same element. Honkai could either take the same system and adapt it, or they can take it a step further and encourage players to build teams with characters of the same faction, element or path. For example, you can have a slight attack bonus for having two characters from her space station, an increase in shield strength for each character of the preservation path, or an increase in fire damage for each fire character in the team. This would encourage players to experiment more with their teams. Furthermore, it could help shine a light on some less used characters. For example, Hania is rarely ever used right now, but if having multiple physical characters would increase physical damage for everyone, maybe, just maybe, some people would consider a team of Argenti, Hania, Natasha and Clara to get as much physical damage as possible. It would be nice if you were encouraged to build teams that would make sense in the lore, or at least build teams with as many characters of the same faction as possible, just to shake up the meta and give characters value outside of their base kit. Also, I believe it could lead to a better experience for new players. Right now, the game does not give you tips as to how you should structure your team, but if you had a small bonus available for fulfilling certain conditions, that could help newer players to grasp the team building aspects. However, I do realize that these systems are not perfect, as they could lead to some issues, especially when new planets are released, as there might not be enough characters to get bonuses from factions. And, arguably, it could make some characters too strong. But looking at how many characters can easily beat all of the content and how strong characters like Dan Hung and Bebeter Lune or Jing Liu are, I don't think it would be that big of a deal. So I genuinely don't think that giving characters more attributes that can be considered while picking your team will harm the game in any way. But I might be overlooking something. And I really don't feel like the system has to be very deep. Hence why I stopped on just proposing small buffs for fulfilling easy conditions. This is just one system out of many, but that does not change the fact that there is wasted potential waiting to be utilized. And that is it for this video. Can you think of any way to make the team building more interesting? I try to get one of these videos out every Friday. But until then, goodbye.